when I wrote it out, I wrote it out to <clears throat> kill the careers of the people I was talking about, right? Uh, before, before I even get into to trash and did it, you know, I'm going to acknowledge him on the screen. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. Already had his deals when he got here. People who follow Cat Williams interviews in the Club Shay Shay podcast might recall the iconic episode he did with Shannon Sharp in January 2024. In that podcast, they discussed various celebrities, including P. Diddy, who later ended up in jail this year. All we can say is, oh boy, Kat seems to know a lot of insider information he's been trying to bring to light. One of the actors he's set on exposing, Kevin Hart. A comic I'm talking about knows that I know your real story. I'm gonna tell this. Recently, Cat Williams gave an interview where he allegedly claimed he could end careers in the industry if he wanted to, because he knows more insider information than anyone else. Many fans believe his outspoken nature adds credibility to his claims. However, this isn't the first time Cat has thrown shade at Kevin Hart. In fact, during his Club Shay Shay interview, Cat called out Kevin multiple times, making it clear he hasn't held back before. This latest interview has reignited interest in those previous Club Shay Shay episodes, with fans speculating that Cat is once again referring to Kevin Hart. As 2024 winds down, people are looking back on the year's biggest moments. 10 months and 83 million YouTube views later, Cat Williams recently admitted there were things he didn't get to say during his fiery appearance on Club Shay Shay, hosted by Shannon Sharp. The 53-year-old actor opened up during an interview at New York Magazine's Vulture Festival, where he was asked about the memorable moment from January. In that interview, he called out a few big names in comedy, including Kevin Hart, Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, and Ricky Smiley. I was trying to do something there that hadn't been done, he stated. When I wrote it out, I wrote it out to <clears throat> kill the careers of the people I was talking about, right? I thought that I had figured out the algorithm mathematically, and I thought that I could show that. When I wrote it out, I wrote it out to kill the careers of the people that I was talking about, but it was so vicious that I erased all of the knockout blows and just left the jabs so that the comic I'm talking about knows that I know your real story, MF. I'm gonna tell this, but you know what else I know. That I have figured out the algorithm uh, mathematically, and I thought that I could show that. Mm. And um, out, I wrote it out to... The question is, who was Cat Williams actually talking about here? And what's the real story that Cat hasn't told us yet about the celebrities he discussed on the Shannon Sharp show? Fans are left wondering what other secrets Cat might be holding back and who he could be referring to in his bold claims about Hollywood. For years, Kevin Hart has been Hollywood's go-to funny man, winning hearts with his stand-up, blockbuster roles, and let's not forget his massive social media empire. Recently, he teamed up with Chris Rock for the documentary, Kevin Hart and Chris Rock, Headliners Only. And yep, it's already creating buzz, but hold on, there's more drama brewing behind the scenes. In a bizarre twist, Cat Williams sparked a wild theory online, claiming Kevin isn't just a comedic genius, but actually an industry plant. Now, if you're wondering what that means, it's a term usually thrown around for musicians who some believe are molded by big labels to dominate the charts. He hasn't just stopped at calling out Kevin, he's tied it all back to Sean Diddy Combs, weaving an intricate web of conspiracies about power, fame, and the hidden workings of the entertainment world. In the Club Shay Shay podcast with Shannon Sharp, Cat Williams said, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show, there being a line for him, him ever getting a standing ovation at any comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plan is? A movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? 
Williams continued, he just did his documentary with Chris Rock, where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? His documentary with Chris Rock, where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles? The comedian went on to allege that many of Kevin Hart's roles were initially offered to him, but were later passed down to Hart because producers didn't want to cut certain S scenes and innuendos from the scripts. While Cat Williams, the Friday After Next star, raised some interesting points, his accusations didn't exactly land well with Kevin Hart. Unsurprisingly, Hart wasn't about to let it slide and fire back at his fellow comedian. Kevin Hart wasn't the only target of Cat Williams's verbal jabs. However, he stood out as the only one who responded with a cool and composed demeanor. Cat had also thrown shade at Michael Blackson and Cedric the Entertainer, both of whom opted for lengthy clapbacks on social media. But Hart addressed the drama with a simple post on X. Kevin Hart responded with humor saying, gotta get that anger up out ya champ. It's honestly sad. In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer for my next film, Lift. Dropping on at Netflix in eight days. Hart jokingly added, there's a moment in the trailer where at Gugumbatharao says they really love you. I now know she's talking about Kat. Although Hart managed to brush off rumors about being an industry plant, this came before the allegations against his friend Diddy went viral. Ever since the news broke, fans have been speculating if Cat Williams might have been onto something all along. Many fans now believe that Cat Williams might have been right all along, especially since he has shown time and time again that he knows things most celebrities in Hollywood are afraid to talk about. In fact, many fans are starting to believe in him more, particularly because of how he stood against P. Diddy, who ended up in jail, seemingly validating Cat's theories. Now, Kat's recent comments about being able to end careers have reignited the debate. What could he possibly know about certain actors that might ruin their careers and reputations? The speculation continues to grow, leaving fans wondering if Kat's insider knowledge could change the industry as we know it. However, the bigger question is, what did Kat Williams leave out that could have ended careers? With Diddy's recent arrest, a flood of conspiracy theories has started to emerge and Cat Williams added fuel to the fire when he claimed he could end careers by knowing something powerful. This sparked a huge online buzz. Among the wild theories is one involving Tony Busby, a lawyer notorious for filing questionable lawsuits against black male celebrities, accusing them of A, but that's not all. Just last week, Tony sent out a demand letter to one of the biggest black male celebrities in the world accusing him of horrific acts. The letter alleges that this wealthy A-list entertainer are both men and women while they were drugged at parties hosted by Diddy. Fans can't help but to see who that actor is. Tony Busby made a bold move offering his clients a multi-million dollar payout in exchange for keeping the A-lister's name out of the spotlight and sparing him from the embarrassment of a public lawsuit. But the black legend who's been filed under John Doe wasn't having it. He's now suing Tony, accusing him of trying to shamelessly extort exorbitant sums while to unleash wildly false horrific allegations if he doesn't pay up. Here's where it gets really interesting. Tony isn't backing down. In fact, He's now planning to release the demand letter and reveal the celebrity's identity. On Instagram and in a statement, Busby fired back saying, we won't allow the powerful and their high dollar lawyers to intimidate or silence as asterisk, 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 alley survivors. He added, since our professional efforts at resolution obviously have failed, we will instead disclose the demand letters. The lawsuit was filed by the law firm of Quinn Emanuel, one of the biggest and most expensive law firms in the country. They represent some of the biggest celebrities in the world and a lot of your faves. With Cat Williams not naming any names, fans have taken to social media, sparking theories that the actor he was referring to could be Kevin Hart. And that's not all. There's evidence that seems to support this theory. 
According to fans, there are old footage and videos of Diddy and Kevin Hart partying together, which only fuels speculation that Kevin might be the one Kat was targeting. However, it's important to note that there are no official reports confirming this, only fan theories and speculations. A recently resurfaced video of Kevin Hart and Sean Combs partying together years ago has sparked some serious questions about the nature of their relationship. The two were close friends for a long time and there's footage that proves it. But now, in light of recent events, it seems Kevin might be distancing himself from Combs, something that's not too surprising given the serious legal battles Combs is facing. Uh, before, before I begin into to trashing Diddy, you know, I'm gonna acknowledge him on this. Combs is facing charges of ST and racketeering, and if convicted, he could spend the rest of his life behind bars. He has pleaded not guilty to the charges with his attorney, Mark Agnafillo, maintaining his innocence. For those who don't know, Sean Combs has been a prominent figure in the public eye for over 25 years. He's a billionaire and has rubbed elbows with countless famous faces. But despite his fame and success, things have taken a turn with resurfaced videos and photos showing scantily clad women in hotel bathtubs and bottles of champagne being passed around at parties. These images, alongside allegations of freak offs and people being drugged at parties, detailed in civil suits and federal indictments, are raising eyebrows and bringing unwanted scrutiny to Combs. It's important to note that Combs has not been proven guilty of any crimes, but with the serious accusations surrounding him, it's hard for the public to ignore the shadow these old clips cast. A clip of Kevin Hart hosting a hotel party for Sean Combs has been making the rounds online and going viral. The footage shows Hart in the midst of a lavish gathering, sparking even more questions about the nature of his friendship with Combs, especially given the serious charges Combs is currently facing. The clip has only added fuel to the fire, with fans and critics alike speculating about the relationship between the two and what it might mean in light of the ongoing legal drama surrounding Combs. Hey, yo, can you move out the way? I want to give you a proper introduction. Go get some, go get some girls. Go get some. <laughs> in the video, Kevin Hart is seen hosting the album release party for Diddy's Dirty Money album, Last Train to Paris, in December 2010 at a hotel in New York. At one point, Hart is sitting on the edge of a hot tub, surrounded by women, adding to the intrigue surrounding his connection to Combs. The footage has resurfaced at a time when Combs is facing serious legal challenges, making it an even more talked about moment especially given the current scrutiny over his personal life and the allegations against him. I'm used to this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, 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 oh did the camera catch that? Cut the camera! <laughs> Hart's fans have been lighting up social media, calling him out and demanding that he address the resurfaced video and his connection to Sean Combs. Fans are demanding answers and the pressure on Kevin Hart continues to grow as the video gains more attention. If Cat Williams chooses to reveal even more of what he knows about these A-list actors, it could spell trouble for them. What do you think? Are the allegations against Kevin Hart true or are they just wild theories? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.